There's word your boss can now track your every move at work. Hitachi has unveiled a new high-tech ID badge called the Business Microscope. In essence, it keeps tabs on everything you do at the office. According to the company Hitachi, the device keeps a record of anybody with whom you speak who's also wearing the device. So the devices kind of talk to each other. Plus, how long and how energetically you talk to each other. It can tell your boss how much time you spend out of your seat, maybe while you're at the coffee machine or visiting the men's room or the women's room, if that's what you are. The developer says it's an effort to boost productivity at work and help employers deal with problems they might otherwise not notice. According to Hitachi's website, it all works using complicated sensors. When two name tags come near each other, they recognize each other and record the face, time, body, and, t and uh, behavior rhythm data, whatever that is, and then they send it all to a server for your employer to analyze, like your employer doesn't already have enough to do. Greg Gutfeld is one of the people on that five thing. He also hosts the Red Eye, which is in the middle of the night, and just celebrated its seventh anniversary, I Hard saw. Hard to believe. I read it on the blogs this morning. Congratulations. Yeah. One year in dog years. One year in dog so the, the word is that now the boss can know how long we pee, right? how much coffee we drink, and how long we, we talk to Christina over there in Pod 17. This is a fantastic uh, progress. Fantastic progress. I, uh, I heartily encourage this, but there's one thing missing. The consequence. What's the point of tracking an employee's behavior if you're not punishing them for said behavior? Mm. There needs to be in the badge a sort of technology that shocks you. Every time you do something annoying, I have a list of behaviors here that I find very annoying that happen here at Fox News. You have to be careful where you keep the badge. Yeah, that's for sure. Or yeah. you could put it someplace that's interesting. All right. But we won't get into that here because this is a daytime show. Indeed. Toilet talking. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a person on the floor where I work who brings his phone into the bathroom and talks incessantly while he does his business. This is disgusting. The badge would be aware of this. Give him a shock. He would stop. Then you have them. I won't say that that was Rick Leventhal. But I'm not saying it wasn't Rick Leventhal. Got it, got it. The microwave marauder is the person that brings last night's food, mm. usually fish, and puts it in the, uh, oh. in the microwave, reheats it, and destroys it. We have one of those on 17. Yeah, it might I be. I won't say her name. Well, it's a her. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one on 18, and I believe the name rhymes with Greg Jarrett. Mm. Uh, then there's the office wanderer. That's the person that just kind of walks over your cubicle. Always wandering. Yeah, always wandering and just starts hey. talking to you and maybe starts touching things on your desk. Uh -huh. And you, it's the, the one thing is, if in, in life you want to be the victim, you don't want to be the wanderer. Because the wanderer really doesn't have enough to do. Kind of sad. So do you shock the wanderer? You shock him hard. All right, and then you had a fourth? I had a fourth, the elevator crowder. That's when you're oh. trying to get out of the elevator and everybody is in front as though their life depends on getting into that small space and they forget that there are people trying to get out. And usually when they're trying to get out, they're angry at you. Yeah, as if it's your fault. As if it's your fault. But the, but the problem with this thing and the reason why this is necessary mm. is because when you have one bad employee, that's one problem. And when somebody else complains, that makes two problems. Yeah. Nobody wants to complain because they don't want to be seen as a narc. So this is the way to get them to, to solve problems without narking on your fellow coworkers. For instance, I work with Dana Perino. She's an absolute nightmare. Uh, and you treat her horribly. No, 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 no. I treat her the way she's supposed to be treated. She talks incessantly <laughs> about her dog as a front for a, uh, a multi-level. Jasper. Yeah, it's a multi-level drug trade out of her uh, out of her dressing room. Jasper is actually code for Crystal. Uh, uh, and is it the that, blue meth? Yes, it's the blue. All right, because yeah. that, that's the best kind yeah. now that the show's over. I wouldn't know. I'm very clean. Well, I, I just know from the program. Oh, yeah, the program. Did you watch the program? <laughs> yes, I watched the program. And then entered it afterwards. It's one of my favorites. So shocking. What else can we shock people for? I think that the elevator thing works Oh, the, you for, know, for taxis uh, and buses. It, it works for the revolving doors. Yeah. It works. Conversations in elevators, uh, uh, you can divide them by age. Young people will talk about their weekends and how they got drunk. Mm-hmm. You I don't mind that. I, I kind of do because it makes me realize how lonely and empty I am. Okay, there's that. Uh, then there are the older successful people that are talking about uh, their Airport objects. Folios. Yes. There's a certain person that likes to talk about, I won't use the pronoun, uh, his slash her yacht mm. on the elevator. That's not good. No, I, talking uh, about yachts is never, never Yeah, I don't want to hear about your, your yacht. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear about anything. All right. Just be quiet. Shut up. Yeah, it's, it's an better. elevator. It's not a time to talk. It's a time to stare silently at the wall. And the television screen that's in the elevator. We have television screens in the elevator. It's yeah. 
I could watch more Fox. It's it, great. It, it I catch up on everything in there. It is, I must Yeah, on sometimes it. I'll be watching you in the elevator, and I'll run to another elevator so I don't miss anything. Everyone does. Yeah. Greg. yeah follow, follow the leaders. <laughs> Greg Gutfeld to be seen here in about, what, an hour and 45 minutes? Yeah. Or 15 minutes, and then later in the middle of the night, yep. he's always on. So